What is up, my bench crew? So this week, no fishing videos this week. I got a couple more fishing videos on the bank. I'm going to try to alternate every other week. I had a doctor's checkup this week. If you haven't noticed, I hurt my back. I had that back surgery about uh, three weeks ago. I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back, back is broken. What, a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. Doctor said I have to wait four more weeks before I can start going fishing again. So... Uh, a few more weeks of mixing up with fishing and some tackle tips. But this week's tackle tape is going to be a good one. You're not going to want to miss it. I'm sure you saw the title already. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to tell you how you can win that gaff that we're going to make. I bought the materials to make two new gaffs. I think the materials cost me about $40. Um, not quite the gaff head. This gaff head was about 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Uh, I'll put a link if I can still find the link for the other ones I had, those mustard gaffs. I think they're like $15. So you're looking at about $35, and the epoxy, I bought bulky epoxy on Oahu where I am. I think it was about $30 for bulky epoxy. That should make me about six or seven gaffs. Um, but uh, I'll put a link for epoxy from Amazon. I think it was like $15 for epoxy, and I should be able to make you a couple of gaffs. Um, so in all, under, I'd say under $50 is a very, very fair estimate. Probably under $40, you can probably make the same exact gaff as me. Um, and you know what? They're, they're super strong. They're, they're the gaffs you see me using on my videos. They're strong. They're pretty indestructible. And for forty dollars, you can't beat it. You know what I mean? It's it's definitely. I, I'm like I don't know about you guys, but I'm a guy on a budget. I try and try and cut back wherever I can. I try to spend excess money. So forty dollars for a gaff that's gonna last me three, four, five years. That's a no-brainer. So let's get to making this gaff. And uh, at the end of this video, moresewers.com. I will have a new batch of shirts available. We have some black shirts on there. Pretty sick. We changed the logo around a little bit. We got the 100% uh, the head over on there. So it's, it's pretty epic. Check it out. Um, for all the big boys that are asking, the 3X, 4X, and 5X, that should be, I should have those shirts in about a week or two. Those shirts have to be ordered from the mainland. They weren't on the island. So we should have those shirts shortly. And uh, high fish gear. Link is in the bow. You can get the Real Adventures hat. Super sick camel hat so you can hide from everybody. But uh, let's get on to showing you how I make this gaff. So tools that you're really gonna need for this gaff is a drill, some drill bits, lighter, and scissors. And then um, that's the tools you're gonna need. Some of the things you're gonna need is you're gonna need a, a gaff head, a wooden a wooden dowel to the size you, you kind of want. You know, on, on this thing, it's kind of about feel, what feels best for you. One and one eighth inch wooden dowel. For me, this is perfect because once I wrap it with some line, it's gonna be a little bit fatter, so it'll be good for my grip. Um, you can use bigger or smaller depending on your hands size. And this and this is where you can uh you can I guess cut back and save some money. And this is where probably I went over budget, or I probably would have been under forty hours of gaff, is if on my line I would have shopped around. I went to Lowe's, I got the wooden dowel Lowe's, I got this rope at Lowe's. This is just 550 cord. It's kind of pricey over there. You don't need 50 feet of it. I bought it at Lowe's. I probably got it had cheaper if I shopped around or got it on online. But uh, I saw this color. I was like, that's sick. So 50, uh, 50 feet. You don't need 50 feet. So another thing you need is this twine. This is to wrap your gaff head. Um, you know, this is, is not too big of a deal. You can kind of go with anything that's kind of a thin side that you'll wrap the gaff head with. With the epoxy, that's what's going to tighten up and make it super, super strong and pretty much... Epoxy is kind of indestructible almost, okay, to a certain degree, but that's what's really going to tighten this up. So I could have went with cheaper twine. I was at Lowe's. I was in kind of trying to save a buck here and there, just trying to get the materials I need. These are about six hours each, kind of kind of on the pricey side, honestly. You can kind of use any type of rope you have, but that's pretty much the basics. So these things, the gaff head, the wooden dowel, is pretty much all the, the, the materials you need, and then the tools. So let me go on and show you how to make this thing. It's super simple and like I said, indestructible, and I'm gonna make a little pizzazz on this one for you guys since I'm giving it to you guys. They have a flat side and it bends, okay? You want your flat part of your wooden dowel to go right where the bend is. You have to go right about there, okay? See where the bend is? About right about there. You, you don't wanna go more back because it's gonna make a weird angle right here. You can go more forward if you want, but preferably right at the very tip of it. Uh, so I marked it already, I'm gonna drill it. You can make these gaps longer than you want for me four foot the wood and with it like this it's gonna be about a four foot six gaff that's that's more than enough for me you can go longer if you want or shorter but it's pretty good i've already pre-marked it so i'm just gonna drill it and then i'll we'll go from there super simple and you guys will see how, how epic this gaff is gonna be so we got the hole ready drilled we're on there i'm not gonna give you a drill bit size because depending on the size of your gaff head depends on the size of your drill bit you want it more on a snug side 
So what I did was I um, what I did was I just kind of drilled it. I just hammered it in lightly. So easier it's on the bend. There's a little bit of a gap, but that's nothing crazy. The epoxy will fill that in. I'm telling you now. And that's pretty much it. If you look, it's pretty, pretty lined up. How's that for an eyeball job? Epic, right? And then from there, it's all about just wrapping it. So since I'm going to be giving it to you guys, I could have made a single color if I wanted to. But we're going to try to make it a little fancy. We're going to try to do a, a double color, okay? Uh, what we'll do is we'll put the first color on there. Just to try to get it, the lots lined up. And then from there, it'll be a lot easier to try to get the, the two colors going. So we'll put the first color on, get lined up. Then we'll have the second color. And we'll start getting this nice little color swollen up. And that's pretty much it for the gaff head. Um... We'll go to the back, we'll use the 550 cord, and it just fattens up, gives you a nice, fat, fat, fat grip, which is going to be epic. So let's get to wrapping. This is probably the most tedious, the most longest process ever, but if you have small kids, perfect. Give them something, make them busy, you know, and put them to work. Why not? That's what that's what child labor is for, right? The beginning part of this is probably the hardest part. Uh, it's actually not that bad, but this would probably be the most difficult part. What I do is I put one line under, and I wrap over it about four or five times, and that pretty much locks it in. You mean, with, with this, there's no real knots that you're making because the knots aren't going to hold it tight like a fishing line like if you're fishing. The epoxy is what's going to tie everything together. And uh, you just kind of want to make it clean and nice because once you epoxy it, you're not going to be able to adjust anything and that's for sure. So I just make the lines really nice and neat and try to get a couple wraps in there before I add the pink in. The easiest way to add a second color to this is just to pull it through the loop like I showed you right here. And you know, like I said, we, it's not not you're not trying to make it where the knot's gonna hold everything in place. The epoxy is what's gonna do all the work. So you're pretty much just trying to make it so you can, you want it tight, but not not tight, you know what I mean? As long as it looks clean. And right now I'm just trying to line up the wraps here all nice and straight. And then from here, I'm just gonna keep spinning it and wrapping it. And this is where the time comes in. I guess maybe it takes about 10 minutes to wrap this whole thing. So what I did here to end it was I cut one side and I'm going to continue to wrap with the pink going up and over the extra line that I cut. Normally you'd burn the edge but honestly with the epoxy like I always say it's going to be solid and the epoxy is going to lock everything in so you're not going to have to worry about anything unraveling or fraying on the end. So we're just going to wrap it all the way up into the end and then uh, I'm going to show you how we finish it. We're pretty much just going to cover this line and keep wrapping make a nice solid bar and then uh, the finish is pretty simple. If you have any loose fray with this nylon uh, twine, you can just use a lighter and it melts it down really nice and neat. Uh, and to finish it, I'm gonna do a couple more wraps of the pink. And then what I'll do is I'll take another piece of line and I'll wrap over that a few times. And what that's gonna let me do is give me a nice clean finish. We're trying to look for a real pretty look on this thing. Uh, so wrap that about two to three times. And then what I'll do is I'll put the pink line through that loop and then just give it a good solid tug and it will lock that in underneath and that'll pretty much clean it all up and make it very very nice i'll give a couple good hard tugs right here just to make it tight and make sure it's pretty much locked in but from here it's not going to unravel once you get the epoxy in there to clean it up we're just going to cut off this excess we're going to use the lighter again and like i said the nylon melts super easy we'll just melt up the nylon right down that little tip right there and then uh, once it's melted i'll just hit it down real fast with the lighter and it'll give you a super super clean look watch this epic and then uh, as you can see it's pretty pretty nice i have a little bit of a gap it down a gaff but i'm gonna show you how to clean it up now we can move on to the handle part so as you saw we got the gaff head all done right here is kind of a mess up this this uh head's a little thicker than the ones i normally use it's a real heavy duty head and that's why i bought it from myself but i'm gonna give it to you because i'm that kind of guy but it's a little thicker than the other ones so it kind of slides down so honestly that's not gonna make a much of a difference more cosmetic than anything Kind of irritates me seeing like that but this whole thing will be for epoxy this whole hole so it's going to straighten up so it doesn't really matter it's more of a cosmetic thing now for the grips normally what i like to do is a grip in the back and a grip in the middle so what you could do there's a couple ways to do it you can take your 550 cord like this okay and you can wrap it around and make a spiral design right like this like this okay and then what you could do is tape the ends with like a you know like a painter's tape or something and then wrap it with the same pink and yellow cord like we did up there. 
That's what you could you could wrap this like this. Uh, what I'm gonna do is a little different. What I'll do is I'll wrap it up however far I want to go, like however wrapped, okay? Like I said, I'm gonna put one in the middle, one in the back. Once I have my ends measured out where I want it to start it, I'm just gonna go right back over that at the spot with the 550 cord, just like that. And that's gonna hold it super, super tight. See what we're doing there? And then as I'm putting it, I'm gonna keep putting a twist on this cord so it wraps around a nice little spiral effect and it's gonna help with the grip also. And to finish it, so it's gonna be the same thing as earlier. You just take a piece of rope, okay? Pretty much just wanna wrap over that rope. Okay? Pretty much trying to just wrap over that rope. Like right, two or three times. Three times you can see right there's the pigtails. There's through. It's wrapped through. I don't know if you can see what I did there. But uh, I put this loop. Oh, I put a loop there. I wrapped it over three times. And I put the line through the hole. I'm just going to put it through. See how it's coming through now? Let's give it a good tug. <coughs> That'll do. Push excess off. There you go. Nice and snug. So for this, all you have to do is just cut this tag in and we'll melt down. We'll just push it down. When you go to the epoxy, I'll cover it so it'll be fine. Let me get this cut right there. You see that little frail end right there? Perfect. Look at that. Look at this. And there's just enough of that wineness on there. I don't know if you can see it, but for the grip, that's perfect. Perfect size. So all we going to do is do one more in the back. I will be good to go for epoxy. It's going to be the most colorful gaff you're ever going to get. But you know what? It's going to be free, so you can't complain. And uh, it's pretty epic. All done. It's wrapped. The only thing left is epoxy. So that's done up here. we our middle one. And we're back one. There's no right or wrong way. You can make this as much wrap as you want. You can wrap the whole thing if you want. So for this whole part, we use the whole 550 cord. 50 feet of it. Up here, we probably only use maybe like 30 feet or so, 25 feet or so of the smaller one. But 50 feet, I'd say, for sure of this. Um, and I mean, this thing is super nice. It's grippy, right? So all I'm gonna do is get the epoxy, put the epoxy on this. And if you didn't notice, I finally got the new Real Adventure shirts. They're on the website, morestores.com. Check them out. Like I told everybody in last week's live video that I might do one more run of black after that, it's done. And we're gonna go on to a, buy a new color, and maybe a new design, we'll see. But uh, I found the part A, super epic. Couldn't find the part B. I found the part B. It's a two-to-one mixture. Um, this is going to be a slow hardener. Right there, slow hardener. And the reason being, it was the fast hardener before would kick so fast, it was kind of hard to get it nice. I'm going to show you a trick to make it super, super, like, ice smooth. Unbelievable. I'll show you a trick I learned from some other guys' videos doing um, other things with epoxy, tables and stuff like that. So it works out epic. But let's get our first coat on there. Let me go mix this up, part A and part B, and we'll be right back. We have the gaff hanging. And it's looking lovely, boys and girls. It's looking lovely. So my only tip when using epoxy, my main tip is use gloves. You know, I have acetone. Acetone will get the epoxy off your fingers, but use gloves. If you like kids it, use glove. Use gloves. Honestly, do it in a properly ventilated area because you don't want to be smelling that fumes. I mean, I pour resin. I smell the fumes all the time. I'm sure like a lot of other lure makers, my head isn't on too straight sometimes, but use gloves for sure. Let's get on there. There's going to be our first coat. I put some glitter in here. It's going to make it pretty epic. The glitter should give a nice little, nice little, I guess, uh, shimmer to it. But uh, typically, two coats. We're going to do three coats. I want to make this extra tough for one of you guys. I'm stoked for when you guys get this gaff. I can't wait to see pictures or videos of you guys using it. Um, I see to that, I'm gonna tell you how you can win it, but let's get this first coat on there. Uh, this first coat is gonna be kind of heavy, and then I'm gonna show you a tip to make it smooth like glass, like I said. Uh, and all you need is a, another thing you're gonna need is a paintbrush. Uh, it's one of the other things you're gonna need, but let me get the camera set up and then uh, let's start getting this epoxy on there. We're gonna start from the top and we're gonna work our way down. Um, I have uh, something for the drip on because you don't want to get any concrete because epoxy will not come off. And these paintbrushes are super cheap. I think I paid like a dollar ten for one. Um, pretty much throw away. Use it once, throw it away. You don't keep it. I think when I first mix it to, I only mix two two ounces of part A and one ounce of part B. So it's about a three ounce mix to do a four foot gap. 
Our first coat is on here. I put a very, very fine glitter, a lure glitter in there, and oh my god, that shimmer. I don't know if you guys can see it, but oh, this is gaps gonna be beautiful. The first gas always takes the most res uh, epoxy because it's gonna soak into the, the rope. Don't use resin first, resin will crack off. Epoxy is pretty much bulletproof, it will not crack on you. In theory, in theory. Um, one trick to get it smooth, get all the bubbles out. You got a torch, dab torch, any kind of torch. Torch it, torch it, and it makes it super, super smooth. Gets all the bubbles out. I don't know if you can see the glitters on there, but the glitters are starting to fall slowly because we heat it up, it's doing its thing. There's only one part of this gaff I'm not happy about at all. It's kind of irritating me and I might, you see it right there, a little gap. See a little gap right there? Not happy with that at all. So I'm probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably go one more coat with the, the thread right there and do one more coat over that and just coat that area is what I'm probably gonna do because to me, I look super ugly. I don't, I don't like that. If I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna make it all pretty. So we'll see. I'm gonna try to clean that up a little bit. But overall, super nice. Um, pretty much, you just gotta wait. Go for it to dry. The epoxy is gonna drip. It's gonna dry. And uh, I don't know. We'll go from there. I guess I'll see you tomorrow for our second coat. And uh, hopefully, I get that part cleaned up. All right, everybody. So for the third and last coat. I did with glitter again. I was going to do another clear coat, but I was like, you know what? I really like the glitter look. I'm going to get some of my super glittery gaff. And for two coats, it still looked pretty good. Um, I did fix that issue I had over here. Remember, you could see it before, where you could see the part right there. I did fix it. I coated over it. Um, but I got two coats over the whole thing, two coats over that spot, two coats over the whole thing. It's super, super silky smooth already. And that's why you're using a torch is key. So we're going to do a third coat. We're going to torch it. And it should be good to go. To get rid of one of you guys. It's epic, epic, epic gaff. I would use this gaff, but you know I mean, I, I run the same style gaff, so they're bulletproof. All right, let's get this last and third coat on there. So it doesn't matter how much runs you have in this, because like I said, we torch afterwards and it literally gets all the runs out. It'll make it like glass when it's done. And it'll be super strong because it's epoxy. So for the first coat, I did three ounces of resin total. So three ounces for this one, for the second third coat, it's pretty much just two ounces total. So that is how you make a gaff for like under 50 bucks I'd say is a, is a more than fair estimate probably under 40 bucks maybe somewhere on there and I'll put a link in the bow for some epoxy that you can get on Amazon shipped to your door but super epic this gaff will last so many years and years and years to come for sure and all you have to do to win this gaff is comment below what kind of fish you're going to use it on if you have no use for a gaff like this uh, Comment anyway, you know what I mean? I'm I've, like I said, there's lots of stuff I have from other giveaways that people didn't claim. If you're a short guy, you have no strike gaff like this. Comment anyway, because if you win, then I'll give you something else that you might want, and then uh, we'll give the gaff away to the next person, I guess. Came out super epic, three three coats on here. But uh, as always, guys, tight line, stay fishing. We see you on the water, or under the water, and right boy, go put your head back in the book, start studying again. All right, boy, see you guys there, or not later. See you guys Sunday. See you guys Sunday. But this thing, action, action. about the fish, You want this fish from the sea? The water's too murky, too hard to see. And the farmer man, him want to plant his colo.